Good evening. As always, the game here in Kalmas is, is really a great event with the fans supporting the home team and with a team that always plays with motivation and desire. Uh, as I told before the game, Zalgiris is in a great momentum, playing really good right now, having also Lover uh, in the rotation. And all the guys that really, really know basketball, they, they pass the ball. And, and of course, the coach like Yuris Dovic that is doing, in my opinion, great, great job. Uh, we knew that it's going to be a complicated game for us because right now every game for us is a must win. And uh, we are playing with some teams that they don't have uh, interest for, uh, you know, for the playoffs, but they still have good players, they still have good team, good coaches. Euroleague is always like this. We have the pressure. This is mentally, I mean, we have the pressure. And uh, we need to adjust on this, play with pressure. If we have to achieve the playoffs, if we want to achieve, you know, to, to finish, to end up in a really good uh, spot in the ranking, we need to play under pressure. Congratulations to the players. It was a really good uh, win. At the end of the game, I think that we were consistent uh, in our game defensively and offensively, but at the end of the game, we found a lot of open looks, being patient and uh, having creativity. We play one for the other in defense and offense. And uh, we control uh, the offensive game of Zalgiris, the creativity of uh, Lekavicius and the good shooters that they have around. Uh, congratulations and good luck to our team and good luck to Zalgiris. Thank you. Coach, your team dominated on the offensive boards. You had 10 second chance points in the fourth quarter alone. Uh, can you comment on that? Uh, why do you think these numbers were so good for you? You know, it's, a, it's a combination between two things. One is that uh, they decided to play switching defense at the end, and the big man was uh, in our handler. So the big man was out of the of his job, you know, the defense in the defensive end. And uh, we we miss a lot of shots. That's why we we finish with a 30% uh, for threes, a really low percentage for us. Especially if you want to win away, you need to have a higher. And uh, that's why. Uh, I think basically because of the switching defense that they, that they decided to play, and uh, because we were consistent also in this part of the game, our bigs, Fall and uh, uh, and uh, uh, Hassan Martin and also Vezegov really make really good job on this. You mentioned the playoff race. Uh, actually, you are one of the four teams with Real Madrid, Barcelona, and uh, Olympia Milano uh, with being in the top four. Uh, how closely are you watching the standings with regular season coming to an end? And to be honest, really, um, it's not. It, it wasn't in the beginning of the season our target to finish the, um, having a home court advantage in the playoffs. For us, we are out of the playoffs for three seasons, if I'm not wrong. And our target was to, to be in the playoffs uh, spot again after three years. So in Euroleague, you cannot see far, you know, you just need to to focus on the next practice, on the next game. The other perspective, I mean, deciding, uh, watching the schedule and saying that uh, we can win there or we can lose there, it's completely wrong in my opinion. My philosophy is that just let's focus on the next game. It's easier for the players, you know, uh, otherwise it's like a mountain to climb, you know, it's, uh, having so many difficult games difficult schedule and difficult uh, opponents to play against. So we just need to see, we have I think four games until the end. Every, every game is difficult. Now we play on Thursday with Panathinaikos. You know that is a Greek derby. Always a difficult game. It's not so easy that maybe someone know uh, things. Uh, and they had the whole uh, week pra for practicing and preparing the game and we just had an intensity game today. So we just need to focus on this game. We have four games. Uh, every game is difficult. We have Barcelona in the home court in Panathinaikos. In a way, we have uh, Monaco. Monaco and uh, Villarban uh, the, to get the French teams. No any, te no any team is easy. No any, team, no any game is, is easy. So we just need to focus on the next one on Thursday. Which, uh, probably will get some, uh, sometimes uh, show support to Ukraine. 
what is your opinion about the war in, in Ukraine and about Russian team's future in Europe? About, uh, about the Russian team, uh, you know, I work in Russia in two different teams in Lokomotiv and Himki. Uh, about about those kind of decisions, there is someone who, who decides about this. The Euroleague, I mean, borders. Uh, it's not my decision to. Work. You will see. I think it at the end, 20th of March, we will know uh, if they are out of the uh, of the competition this year or not. Probably yes. About the war, there is no doubt. There is no question about it. Uh, I really believe. I'm, I'm really not good to, to say things. Uh, uh, these kind of things because I'm really emotional. You know, whenever I see a kid uh, losing his parents, okay, or losing his uh, his life, uh, for me it's, uh, it's really emotional. It's really sad. So, like uh, like everybody else, right now I pray to stop the war. You know, it's it's so that simple. Never a war can be the solution in anything. Coach, this was also the last game, uh, the last match between two Euroleague legends, Paulus Ankunas and Yorgos Printezis. Uh, can you comment on these two guys? You have seen those two guys playing each other for so many times. That was actually 18th time that they, they really? faced each other. Uh, just two legends, uh, what can you say about them? They, they have my, my full respect, you know. It's, uh, I don't know how many Paulus is, uh, how many years playing in Euroleague. Eighteen. Eighteen. Yorgos is playing twenty-one. Pridis is playing twenty-one years in Euroleague. So, um, okay. eh? Twenty-one is Olympiakos. Twenty-one in Olympiakos, eh? He played twenty-one years in, uh, in Olympiakos. I don't remember how many years in Euroleague, but a lot, as you said. So it's really difficult. You know, sometimes I'm asking, are you a little bit bored having the same routine every day, practicing, playing game, uh, to be champion? You know, to be. In this level, for so many years, is not easy, you know, for your character, for your health, sometimes, for your mental health, for your body, health is, is not easy. So they have my full respect. This is a, a really. We had Spanulis also last year, but uh, he stopped in the age of 39. In our team, we, we really respect uh, what they gave to our team. You know, the titles, big wins, reputation. Yorgos is uh, our captain, and uh, everybody loves him. Because also is 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 a fan of our uh, of our team, except a, a, a special player. So what I have to say is that whatever they decide in the future, good luck for me. Thank, Thank you very much. much. Thank you. Simet lošimo automati. Simet lažibos. Simet rulete. Nėra tikinga lošimas gali sukelti priklausomybę.